welcome to this week's midweek message. I do hope that you are well. Simon on Sunday evening was talking a little bit about prayer and petition and intercession. What does it mean to petition God with our prayers? And he was inviting us all, all of us, to come before the throne room of God with boldness, uh, which reminds me of a, the Hebrews verse, which says this, let us then approach the throne of grace with confidence, other translations say boldness, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. That's Hebrews 4 verse 16. We can enter boldly. I don't know, do you know this story? It's a story, quite a common story in the Civil War where a soldier has been invited to come to Washington DC to speak to the president because of a family issue that has um, has precipitated. And he goes all the way to Washington and he queues up and he hands over his papers, but they say, look, no, you have no access to the president. Um, we're in the middle of a civil war here. And uh, he's turned away and he walks disconsolately back to a park and he sits on a park bench and he's absolutely... Um, frustrated and sad he has no idea how he can access um the the president and then a little boy comes up to him true story this little boy comes up to him and says oh you're looking very sad and he explains the situation to the little boy doesn't know why he just feels compelled to tell him his story and the little boy says well why don't you follow me um i can help you and he didn't have anything else better to do so he thought well i'm just going to follow this boy and uh, and so he does and he walks all the way up back up to the White House. And as he gets to the gates, the soldiers all sort of bristling with medals slightly stand to attention. And he walks down the corridors, these big portraits either side and these um, statues. And he comes to what he knows um, is the Oval Office door. And he's like, wow, this is ridiculous. And uh, the little boy opens the door and walks directly into the Oval Office. And the president, Abraham Lincoln, is talking to a secretary of state and he interrupts the Secretary of State and he says, hang on a minute, what is it, Todd? And he looks at the little boy and the little boy said, Father, uh, this soldier needs to speak, speak to you urgently. You really need to listen to him. And so he does. You may have heard that story before, but it's a brilliant story and a wonderful illustration uh, that we have access to the King of Kings. We have access to the throne room of God, not by what we have done, not by any merit of ourselves, but entirely due to the Son who has access to the Father, like Todd to his father, Abraham Lincoln. So as we come before God in prayer, I don't know what prayers you're holding on to at the moment. What are your prayers? What are your prayer needs? What are you petitioning God for at the moment? But the fact is, because of what Jesus has done, we have access to the throne room of God. Um, not because of what we've done, but because of who we are. And that is co-heirs with Christ. Do you remember when we looked at Romans? We are co-heirs with Christ. We are seated, as it says in Ephesians, on the right hand of the Father in the heavenly places. Amazing, amazing inheritance. We have access to the King of Kings. So friends, I uh, hope that that was an encouragement for you. Have a wonderful rest of the week and no doubt we'll see you at the weekend, if not before. Bye.